Hello children, I welcome you all once again to your English class. I hope you all are doing fine. Children, for today's English lesson, we are going to continue with the 8th poem from your Honeysuckle book. And this chapter, Vocation, is written by Rabindranath Tagore. So in your previous uh, video lesson, we have already gone through the poem. We have already learned what the little child wants to be. And in this uh, in this video lesson we are going to attempt and write the question answers i think we have finished one question and now we can continue from the second question that means there is two parts in question number one i have finished the first answer i'm going to write or start the video lesson with the second answer now this question what wishes does the child in the poem make why does the child want to be a hawker, a gardener, or a watchman? Pick out the lines in each stanza which tells us this. Okay, so now let's write this answer working with the poem. And here we can see uh, this is on page number 110. Now we are going to write number two of one. What wishes the little child is innocent? The little child is innocent. Is innocent. He watches the people keenly around him. He watches the people keenly around him he is sick of checks on his movement he is sick here sick doesn't mean children uh, illness here sick is sped up okay he is sick with he is sick of actually with sick he is of he is sick of checks on his movement on his movement yes he wants to enjoy the same freedom he wants to enjoy the same freedom freedom as do the hawker the gardener And the watchman. They do what they like. Okay. Now we need to to write pick out the lines in each stanza which tells us this the child says we are going to change the paragraph we are going to write the child says what does he say i wish i were a hawker i wish i were a hawker Spending my day on the road. Spending my day on the road. Number two. I wish I were a gardener. I wish I were a gardener.
digging away at the garden. Okay, now number three. I wish I were a watchman. I wish I were a watchman. Walking the street all alone. Yes, children. So this completes our second answer of the first question. Now we have the third question. Now the third answer of this first question. From the way the child envies the hawker, the gardener and the watchman, we can guess that there are many things the child has to do or must not do. Make a list of the do's and don'ts the child doesn't like. The first line is done for you. The child must come home at a fixed time. Okay, so this is the do. Now, child must not get his clothes dirty in the dust. So, like this only, we have to write some things. Now, do's and don't. Now, add to the list your own complaints about the things you have to do or must not do. Okay, so see. Let's write it in the do section, I think, what we can write. And in the don't section, what we can write, let's see. Number A, obey elders. Number B, do homework regularly. Number C. Be truthful and honest. Children, you can write your own do's if there are at your home. If you are expected to do something by your parents. Okay. Now, don'ts. Don'ts are be late for school. Number B, eat junk food. Number C, be rude or ill mannered. Now, like the child in the poem, you perhaps have your own wishes for yourself. Okay, so this has to be done by you only. I'm not going to write. Talk to your friend using I wish I were. So maybe there are wishes of uh, yours if you want to fulfill them. And tell me what are your wishes. Okay, please write it yourself and tell me and discuss with your friends in the offline class okay children so now find out the different kind of works done by people in your neighborhood make different cards for different kind of work you can make the card colorful with pictures of the person doing the work okay now this is activity from vocation now what activities are dear to little children who does the child and we and why in the poem uh, and why in the poem vocation Okay, so this can be a paragraph long. So let's attempt this. Okay. I will be writing the question here. What activities are dear to little children?
these are your extra questions children by nature love freedom and fun they are too young to foresee the consequence of hasty action they are adventure loving also Tigor in his poem. Tigor in his poem. Vacation. Sorry, vocation. Gives voice to the desires of a child. Okay. So this is your answer for this. Please note it down quickly. With this children, we have finished this chapter. Now since we have little time, so we can move ahead with the ninth prose from your honeysuckle book. Okay, so See, ch uh, children, it's Desert Animals from your Honeysuckle book, chapter 9. We are going to read about uh, a land feature, a feature you might have studied in your social science classes, desert, and about the animals that are found in the deserts. Okay, children, so let's get started with the chapter. So this chapter is Desert Animals. And this is the ninth chapter. Okay. Now, you will find this chapter on page number 112 of your book. Okay. Uh, let's start reading it. There are more than 2,300 different kinds of snakes around the world ranging from just 15 centimeters long to more than 11 meters. So yes, the story, the text starts with the snakes now. Okay, children, most snakes are quiet and harmless. But they are, there are a few that are so poisonous, they can kill a human being with just one bite. So children, here we can uh, we can know the fact we can know the count of how many different kinds of snakes are found okay so according to the writer he has obviously researched and he has found that there are two, more than 2300 uh, kinds different kinds of snakes and some uh, he feels he knows and we also know that some are quite harmless they won't uh, they won't affect you they do not have poison but some are so poisonous like they are it is fat their bite one bite is fatal to your life okay fatal to your life most snakes lay eggs but there are many which give birth to their young so uh, you might have known about snakes so uh, when you might have studied in science or maybe in social science when you you, you would have learned about these animals. You might have heard that they leg 
lay eggs okay so usually uh, most of the snakes do it they lay eggs only but some give birth to babies directly to the young ones in the dry rocky deserts of america leaves are a rather evil evil looking snake with a very bad reputation okay so we can see that there is very ill fame attached to it maybe because it's really poisonous or very much deadly its frightening rattle can be heard as far as 30 meters away so children rattling is harsh sound produced by the snake so it is known for its sound that it produces and see even if someone is uh, 30 meters away from the snake you can still hear the rattling of that snake okay and now uh, and it can strike with lightning speed strike or bite okay that means here it can bite you with that speed it doesn't give you any time its speed is really fast now uh, like uh, here see children lightning speed lightning means what you know how quickly we see the light uh, when the thunder is about to happen or when there is this uh, uh, rain for about to occur, like uh, you, have, you might have seen between the clouds, right? The flash of light. So that is lightning. Now, but the rattlesnake or rattler, as it is sometimes called, prefer to avoid people if it possibly can. Okay. So, you know, children, uh, like uh, some animals which are found around us, they also do, uh, do not want to come in uh, contact or connect. They do not want to connect with what? With the human life. Okay. So, they also want to avoid people. The rattler snake, this a snake popularly known as the rattlesnake, it avoids people as possible as it can. It tries to hide away or it will stay away from human life because yes, human uh, humans are animals only or and we are the uh, most intelligent species. We can control and we can uh, harm animals. So it also possibly stays away from human. It holds its tail upright and rattles the end whenever it is disturbed. So what is the movement? What, what does it do? It will be holding its tail upright. That means it will just uh, hold it straight and rattles the end. Rattling means moving to and fro here. Okay, so this one are actually using its tail to move and to hit people. Now here. So if you disturb it, it will do. Uh, it will uh, rattle its tail and it will uh, stand upright. The tail will stand upright. Okay, in the hope that the intruder will go away. So why does it do this? Why does it uh, hold its uh, rat, uh, rattler? That means tail upwards, so that the intruder. If someone intruder is who? Intruder is someone who is coming near without permission or without uh, like without any walk. Okay or to harm you okay someone who is coming to harm you someone who has no permission to come now however if its warnings are ignored okay if you do not pay attention if the warning is ignored this warning like it's giving this uh, hint that i am here do not come close okay if uh, and it feels threatened okay if it feels threatened or in danger okay so if it feels that it is in danger it will now what it will do what it will coil ready to bite yes no more warnings if you are ignoring the warnings it will just approach for the bite to keep itself safe all animals want to keep themselves safe right children so even uh, even if there is a threat to our life we will protect ourselves right we will act defensive we will try to defend ourselves so here the rattlesnake also wants to defend itself. Okay, children. Now, see you. But the rattler itself cannot hear the noise its own tail makes. Okay, this sound, you see, uh, that's why we know sometimes that snakes do not have ears. Yes, it cannot hear its own sound or the uh, sound which is produced by its rattle. Rattle is the tail here. So the tail, when it moves, it produces this harsh sound, which we have heard, which we have learned right now. Now, uh, 30 meters away, people can hear it, but it cannot hear uh, its own sound produced by the rattle 
of its own okay children so we will close here only we are going to read this and continue this chapter in our next video lesson till then please take care of yourself and your family bye bye